Well, good morning, everybody. All right, well, we're closing up some gaps on some levees, on some of the rice. This is stuff that we had water leveled, and we flew the rice in. We pinpointing it now, doing a pinpoint flood. Uh, me and this John Deere 6300, and we got the backhoe back there. You can see it. All I'm doing is we came on these levees. You can see where we where the ditcher made the ditches and closing them back up. We usually open that up with the ditcher or the backhoe. You can see that one on that levee right there. Open it up and you can get faster water flow to your bottom cuts. And that's exactly what we did. So uh, it is my birthday today, but I'm happy with doing what I love. And I'm going to show you in a little bit. We'll go ahead and close up a gap, show you how we do it. So sit tight. And when I get on the next levy, I'll go ahead and show y'all. Did I mention how filthy these tractors get? Don't judge us. We're dealing with a lot of mud we deal with down here. But whenever we're done with the mud and the water we're using these tractors, we will clean them. Oh, then I think I felt to mention that the AC unit is out in this tractor. That's why I'm riding with the door open. Now I'm not going fast. I'm not really beating it too much. I'm not too worried it's going to break off. But, whew, you talk about hot. I think we're in the mid 90s today. Now we got a little bit of a breeze, but with no cloud cover, it sure makes it hot. Rice is coming along pretty good. We're I'm closing these gaps up so we can get these cuts with more water in it so we can come back and have the plain spray fertilizer. Put a lot of fertilizer on the rice. You know, some of the stuff we put up to almost, I mean, I'm not even lying, 450, 500 pounds per acre, you know, from start to finish of the, of the of it, the stages of it growing, 400, 500 pounds on some of this stuff per acre by the end. Uh, some some stuff we actually, I think we only put 250 pounds total so far this year on it and we're not putting any more, it's doing good. Uh, different soil conditions, a lot of things vary on it, but for the most part, all the rice is doing good.
that's my birthday boy special. That's what I'm gonna call this video today. All I did was take the dirt we had dug back out of it, put it back and kind of packed it a little bit. To the next field, we're gonna go ahead and cut some ditches so we can fully finish draining the crawfish pond. I got my rod and butter loop. We are rolling. Yes, I know the tractor is dirty. But when we're done with the mud with it, we're gonna go ahead and wash it and give it a good treatment. We're gonna clean it good. So, we'll show you how we ditch when we get there. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the video into Luke. We're gonna let, we're gonna let him uh, video fair body. ditcher that we're pulling and once again we're in the John Deere 6300 and by the way this thing is a monster it's, I don't think it's quite 100 horsepower I'm not really certain on what horsepower
pretty good crowd. We seated, uh, I want to say close between half to three quarters of a sack per acre on this stuff right here. Now this stuff is 17 acres altogether. Um, I just hope next year that we do pretty good on it. Because uh, everybody knows that our crawfish industry is a pretty big supplemental to our farming income down here in South, especially South Louisiana. You know, we farmers plant rice, plant soybean down here. That's pretty much all you're ever going to see in rice and soybean, other than sugar cane. Even rice and soybean farmer doesn't have sugar cane. good rice crops around. It's been, it's been hellacious. But I wouldn't trade for it for any other thing. It's an honest living. We get a bad year, we just roll through it. But up with all the negatives. After we, after we dish this, we're going to let it sit. We've been having dry weather, so we'll be in here with a plow within a week or two. We're going to start plowing some of it. And then we'll start get, getting it closer ready to put some rice seed in it. Now we're going to do what we call green rice. It's just basic rice seed with nothing on it. We're going to put that. It's going to grow rice, but it's it's going to be enough food and nutrition for the crawfish. That's all I'm looking for, is for the crawfish. 